Much games. turn on the lights so we can find them <laughs> the light switch let's play a game you have to try and find me <laughs> oh hi there crickets the name <laughs> Jiminy cricket have you ever heard of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Peter Pan, Dumbo, or Alice in Wonderland? They're all in this book. Would you like me to read you a story? Uh, <clears throat> I kind of need some help. <clears throat> On a dark and rainy night a long, long time ago, in a kingdom far far away in a quaint little cottage deep within a beautiful enchanted forest there lived a <sighs> oh uh <laughs> pardon me it's just that i've been reading these stories for so many years that say i have an idea I'll take out each of the happy ending pages, then you can guess which story to put them back into. <laughs> sort of like a game. In the happy ending to Peter Pan, Captain Hook is chased off by TikTok the crocodile. Peter lives on as feisty as ever, and he never ever has to grow up. In this happy ending, Alice travels to Wonderland, but makes it back home, and without losing her head. In the happy ending to Dumbo, Dumbo the Flying Elephant is finally reunited with his mother, Mrs. Jumbo. Ah, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now there's a happy ending for you. Snow White and the Prince live happily ever after. Better put this one on the shelf. At least until someone can shed a little light on this situation. Well, as I live and breathe, the Blue Fairy. Sir Jiminy, you are an official conscience entrusted with the duty of helping others choose between right and wrong. 
Did you do something wrong tonight? No! Well, I mean, I did tear out these pages, but I was just trying to... I, I mean, it's, it's just a book. Jiminy, once a story is read, it becomes alive in the imagination of the person who heard the story. By removing the happy endings, the heroes were left in peril and the villains put in control. Huh, some conscience I turned out to be. My friend and I will put the pages back. No, no, the villains have already started to change the stories. You are going to have to travel into the stories to fix them. We can do that, milady. Uh, I hope. Hello there! Oh! Hello! I'm out, and you're out too! No, I'm not. My name is Ian. How could you forget that? I live right next oh, door to you. don't start. I meant our new guests here are out, and you probably want to go in. Inside the stories, that is. Now, why would you want to do that? Haven't you heard all of the villains have taken over? Well, perhaps our guests can help. What do you mean? Help the villains? No, no. Helping the villains would be wrong. Our guests must do what's right and help the storybook heroes. Oh, yeah. But before we let you enter, we must make sure that you know what the heroes look like. Okay, let's all look for Pinocchio. When you find him, point to where he is. Excellent! There's Pinocchio. Now for something a bit more difficult. Let's find TikTok from the story of Peter Pan. There he is. Hey, TikTok, you're late on the rent again. Now let's look for Peter. Here's Peter Pan now. Hi, Pete. Now it's time to search for Jiminy Cricket. Hey, I'm right here. There's Jiminy. I say, that was like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Actually, it was more like trying to find a carved cricket on a wood door, if you want to be precise. Yes. Well, next we have to find Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Hello, Alice. Now we must search for another fair maiden by the name of Snow White. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? There she is, it's Snow White. Now it's time for you to find Dopey. That's Dopey. There you go again, making fun of our talented guest. Now it's time to find little Tinkerbell. There you are, Tinkerbell. You're the light of my life. Now, here's a tricky one. You have to try to find the Cheshire Cat. There's the Cheshire Cat. Now we have to look for Grumpy from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. There's Grumpy. Ooh, he doesn't look happy. You just need to find a few more of our friends, and then you'll be ready to enter the stories. Let's look for Sleepy. There's Sleepy. Well, what do you know? He's sleeping. There's a big surprise. Now we have to find the White Rabbit, because he's late for a very important date. There's the White Rabbit! Good! Now let's look for Dumbo. There you go again, calling our guests names. There's Dumbo! Now you have to find Doc. Um, would it be possible? I mean, could it be alright with you? I mean, can't you just let us bask in the glory of having found for one measly little second before barking at the name of the next missing person. Would that be all right with you? We're on the last one. Oh, okay, never mind. Hey, what's up, dog? <laughs> Try to remember who we were for. Our guest has just proven that they know what all of the storybook heroes look like, and they're ready to enter. We'll swing open and let you go in. But I don't want to go. I meant them! Ooh, well, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the door today. Come on! This is gonna be some adventure! Whoa! These things sure look familiar. Hey! They're all from the different stories. Pick one. 
Well, he's a baby elephant that lives in the circus, and his ears are so big that everyone teases him. Then one day he realizes that his big ears are what makes him special. He can use them to fly. Honest. That's why they call him Dumbo the Flying Elf. Villains and villainesses! Please give a nasty cold welcome to Dumbo the Falling Elephant! I certainly don't remember the circus kid looking this way, but I guess that's what happens when a bunch of clowns take hold. Say, Mrs. Jumbo, why the long trunk? Because tonight the audience is filled with villains who just laugh at the most dreadful things. And worst of all, Dumbo can't fly anymore, but the clowns keep forcing him to do his high dive act just so they can keep the audience entertained. Don't worry, Mrs. Jumbo. My friend here is a pretty talented character. We'll find a way to save Dumbo. We just need you to give us a lift. Start by making the clown with the paddle hit the other clown instead of Dumbo. Hey, that looks like a good angle for the cannon. Too soon for monkeys. Well, we must be doing something right. Dumbo can fly again. Let's get back to the storybook and make sure he finds his mother. Isn't that sweet? There's nothing stronger than the bond between a mother and her child, especially if they're both elephants. <laughs> Say, that was pretty swell. You actually saved one of the stories, but there's three more where that came from. Which one do you want to tackle next? Well, it looks like our next story is Alice in Wonderland. Alice has been on a lot of strange adventures, but she's always managed to keep her head. By order of the Queen, we have orders to be prepared to prepare to remove Alice's head! Boy, those darn villains always seem to know when to chime in, don't they? Oh dear, no! If I go home without my head, my mother will be so very unhappy with me. Oh no! This ending has really gone to pieces! has got to be around here someplace. Sorry we're a little late. I guess there's not much we can do for you. Oh, of course there is. You can find my body. We have it right here. Oh, good. Would you be so kind as to bring it to me? I'm somewhere in a beautiful maze of bushes. Please hurry. Well, come on, let's get hopping. Who knows how long it'll take to find our way. Your way? 
There's no way here but the Queen's way. If the cricket and his friend move, off with their heads! Just follow my voice. It'll lead you right to me. If I'm going to lose my head over a girl, well, it might as well be Alice. Look around until Out you can figure way, out I which entrance move. Alice's voice is coming from the loudest. Yes, I have no body. I guess you hurry then. Just follow my voice. It'll lead you right to me. Good choice. Grab that thing before it hits us. Clear away that smoke. Hey, watch out. <laughs> Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one, quick. Clear away that smoke. I'm over here. No, here. This certainly is a cure. Good choice. Hey, watch out. <laughs> <clears throat> Grab that thing before it hits us. Stop that Cheshire cat. Look around until you can figure out which entrance Alice's voice is coming from the loudest. Please hurry. My nose is itching. Good choice. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one. Quick. Clear away that smoke. Stop that Cheshire Cat! You've got to stop this one, quick! Oh! You've got to stop this one, quick! Just keep following my voice! There you go. That's using your head, uh, or at least your ears. Clear away that smoke. You've got to stop Halt. this one, quick. Clear Halt. away that smoke. Halt. Grab that thing before it hits us. Stop that Cheshire cat. Look around It'll until you can right figure out me. which entrance Alice's voice is coming from the loudest. This way. She's waiting oh, out you. of the way! I'm late! I'm late! For a very important... This way! I'm over here! I'm all alone. And even worse, I have no body. I suggest you hurry then. Good work! This path will help us get to Alice. You've got to stop this one. Quick! You've got to stop this one, quick! Grab that thing before it hits us! Hey, watch out! <laughs> Excuse the pun. Clear away that smoke! Grab Help. that thing before it hits us! If we follow me. the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. But if we follow we'll Alice's left, voice, we'll Alice, get ahead. Right, <laughs> right, Excuse me. Right, right. Please hurry. Yep, Alice's voice was definitely the loudest from this direction. You've got to stop this one. Quick, clear away that smoke. You've got to stop this one. Quick. You've got to stop this one, quick! You've got to stop this one, quick! Stop that Cheshire Cat!
This now certainly it sounds is a like curious God. Really there you go. That's using your head, uh, or at least your ears. You've got to stop this one. Quick, clear away that smoke. Clear away that smoke. Grab that thing before it hits us. Clear away that smoke. Stop that Cheshire Cat. Why, there you are. I'm very surprised at you, though, running off like that. And just when I needed you for support. <laughs> Guess that's why they call this place Wonderland. Come, come, there's no time to waste. We must find the White Rabbit so he can lead us home. <laughs> Hurry, the guards are on their way. Out of the way. Here you go, friend. You'll need this paintbrush. Come on, the rose. Oops! Ah, uh, sorry, officer. If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. Out of the way, I'm late. Good choice. You've got to stop this one, quick! You've got to stop this one, quick! You've got to stop this one, quick! Grab that thing before it hits us! Grab that thing before it hits us! Come Close on, paint the road. Oops! Ah, uh, sorry, officer. Come, come, there's no time to waste! Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late! Good work! Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one! Quick! Clear away that... Come, come on! There. Paint roses! If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here! Out of the way! I'm late! Good work! Hey, the rose is white. You know, to distract the guards. Come, come, there's no time to waste. Good choice. You've got to stop this one. Quick. Grab that thing before it hits us. Grab that thing before it hits us! Come Close on! Paint the road! Queen. Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! I think we're about halfway home! Out of the way. Good work! Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one! Quick! You've got to hurry! Close. Paint that rose tree! If we follow the White Rabbit, we'll get out of here. Out of the way, I'm... Good work! Close. Hurry, paint that Close rose tree. Queen. Come, come, there's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late! Good work!
grab that thing before it hits us. Clear away that smoke! Clear away that smoke! Hurry, Down bake that. that rose tree. If two more... Grab that thing before it hits us. Clear away that smoke! Come, come, there's no time to waste. Out of the Good work! Grab that thing before it hits us! Grab that thing before it hits us! Clear away that smoke! Hurry, Down take that. that rose tree! You've got to stop this one! Grab that thing before it hits us! There's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late. Good work! You've got to stop this one, quick! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one, quick! <laughs> Paint the rose is white, you know, to distract the guards. Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one, quick! Now we're really close to getting home! Oh, out of the way, I'm... Good work! You've got to stop this one, quick! Clear away that smoke! Grab Hurry, oh, paint that rose tree! The queen. Grab that thing before it hits us! Grab that thing before it hits us! Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! Oh, You've got to stop this one, quick! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one, quick! Grab that thing before it hits us! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one! Quick! Clear away that smoke! Hurry! Oh, paint that I rose tree! The queen. You've got to stop this one! Quick! Clear away that smoke! It was very nice of you to save me, and my story. Please do drop by again. Looks like Alice made it back home. I just love a happy ending. <laughs> two stories down and two to go. What's next? Smee, bring me Peter Pan at once. We're going to have a sword fight. But, Captain, Peter Pan always wins. Tonight will be different, Smee. Tonight will be... Different. Hmm, sure sounds like something's rotten in Neverland. Whoa! I'll bet the only 
nothing scarier than that big skull is the big guy it used to belong to. Never growing up, eh, Peter? Peter, you bore me. What say you to this? We just call this a win for me, and you can settle in early this evening and retire. Forever! Retire? Never! Not while I can still hold this blade steady enough to run you through! Pick it up, and use it to run this old codfish through the gizzard! What's this? If you've got a taste for cold steel, then get up here, you scurvy swab! Pick up the sword. Friend of Peter's is no friend of mine! To block Hook, just move your sword to where the shield is! That's it! Turn him around! That's it! Turn him around! There's an opening in the crow's nest! That's it! Turn him around! That's it! That's it! Keep driving him back! That's it! Drive him off the edge! If one pirate jabs first, block him, then jab the other pirate! If you listen, you can hear which side the pirates are coming from. One pirate jab first, block him, then jab the other pirate. Look alive, you blithering bloom rat! There's nowhere to run! Should you attack an unarmed foe? Things were finally turning in my favor, and then you had to show up. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
No! Let's get back to the book so you can see Hook get his. And in the end. <laughs> for setting things right. And if you ever need to find me, I'm in the book. Well, this is it, my friend. Just one more story. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs has one of my favorite happy endings. But I have a feeling things may have changed since the last time I read it. What do you say? Can you help me get out of this thorny situation? That's the stuff. That's the stuff. That's the right branch. Keep huge. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Now you just have to move these last two ranks. Hey, you did it! You not only freed me, but you cleared a path to that big... Big Apple? Hmm. Guess the evil queen's been doing some redecorating. wanted to visit the Big Apple. I just imagined it being under better circumstances. Come, my dearie. Just take a bite of this apple. One bite. And then I'll release your seven little friends from my dungeon. Quick! We have to save Snow White before it's too late. Like we're too late. Ah, poor Snow White. In my version of the story, there is no prince to save you, and soon the seven dwarves will be joining you in eternal slumber. <laughs> Boy, talk about an unhappy ending. When the last grain of sand falls through this hourglass, my next poison apple will be ready. <laughs> uh oh, that doesn't give us much time before Old Witchy comes back again. I'm sure you can find something in here to set things right. But remember, the queen uses these potions to do her evil bidding. So try to stay on the straight and narrow. Here we go. This is it. The potion to create someone's true love. The potion for sleeping death. As your official conscience, I'm warning you, this one is bad news. Ah, to make a thunderbolt. 
hear something to create a blast of wind. Moonstar. Mummy dust. Sting of scorpion. Bacchus elixir. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients that you want, spark up the fire under the cauldron. Say, that was pretty swell. Now we can use Blast of Wind. Sunstar. Dark of Night. Cactus juice. Just plain bad stuff. Blast of wind. Carnation petals. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients... There you go! Now we can use Thunderbolt! Sting of Scorpion! Dark of Night! Thunderbolt. Those are green apples. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients that you want, spark up the fire. Wow! Oh no, she's back. Now Snow White and one of the seven dwarfs are in eternal slumber. Aging potion. Sunstar. Blast of wind. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Hey, I'm supposed to be your hunch. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients that you want, that's the stuff.
Would you look at that? Now the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves ends like it's supposed to. They all live happily ever after, all thanks to you. Hey, let's see what's next in the storybook. Wow, you did it! You actually fixed all of the stories. Now we just have to put these pages back in the book and we're done. Hey, who took all of the happy endings? Not me. I just took this one. I only took one page as well. We have to take cover. Cover? That's it! Grab the magic storybook! Pan and tilt the book so you can take the cannonballs back where you want them to go! Fire at the nets to take loose those hooligan pirates! Direct hit! Good shot! To face the other villains, pass all the way over and clear. <laughs> That's it! See how that net flew off? Now you can get a clear shot at the match! Timber! <sighs> Just two more masks to go. Just one more turnbuckle to go! Just one more mask to go! That'll knock the wind out of her sail! Fire at the nets to shake loose those hooligan pirates! Fire at the nets to shake loose those hooligan pirates! Ha-ha! <laughs> Hooks retreated to Skull Rock! Good shot! Watch out! There are villains from the other stories off to the side. Fire back! Right at him! Fire back! Right at him! Fire back! Right at him! Watch out! There are villains from the other stories off to the sides! To face the other villains, pass all the way over and click! Double draft! I hate happy endings. To face the other villains, pan all the way over. Ha! Uh, pan and tilt the book so you can aim the croquet balls back where you want them to go. Watch out! There are villains from the other stories off to the side. That's a straight flush! Ha! Ah, uh, 
pan and tilt the book so you can aim the croquet balls back where you want them to go. Hey, there's that mean old Queen of Hearts back there. Try to knock her over. Face the other villains and all the way over and click. Ha! Ah, uh, pan and tilt the book so you can aim the croquet ball back where you want them to go. to knock down as many of those card soldiers as you can. That's a straight flush. That's a straight flush. back there. Try to knock her over. Hey, there's that mean old Queen of Hearts back there. Try to knock her over. She's retreating to her topiary. Uh, and that's a statue made out of shrubbery. Watch out! There are villains from the other stories off to the side. Face the other villains, pan all, pan and tilt the book so you can aim the pies and bowling pins back where you want them to go. Clear a path so you can get to that, that evil ringmaster. The ringmaster looks worn out. Just a few more hits ought to do it. <laughs> to hit the clouds at the bottom, keep the book angle down more. Get to that, that evil ringmaster. <laughs> Just keep firing into the mouth of that big clown head. <laughs> to hit the clowns at the top, keep the book angled up more. Face the other villains, pan all <laughs> Pan 
and tilt the book so you can aid those poison apples and evil magic back where you want them to go. <laughs> Pan and tilt the book so you can aid those poison apples and evil magic back where you want them to go. Hey, there she goes. That's it. Just a few more hits. That place will be an apple turnover. Aim for the front door of the... Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Looks like we put all of the happy endings back, and then some. Yes, that new story is the story of Villain's Night Out. It tells of a cricket who redeems himself, and his newfound friend, who saves the heroes of the storybook and becomes the greatest storybook hero ever. Remember, You've saved all the heroes and their endings too. Now you can play in their worlds, many or few. Tonight, your imagination has grown, so I grant you a surprise for the toys that you own. Goodbye, my lady. <laughs> <laughs>